Is it okay, yeah? It is okay. Um, I think we should probably officially introduce you, although everyone can read this. So our very first talk of the conference is by Joseph, Marianne, and Ian, and they're going to tell us what land surface curvature really means. Mm -hmm. um, should we wait a minute? My clock says it's like 428. Okay. So thank you very much for introduction. And also I am very glad that uh, I can have the presentation as the first in the conference. So uh, what does land surface curvature really means? On the first look, it can be a simple question. And from point of mathematics, it is really not such a complex because uh, from point of view of higher abstraction, uh, the land surface curvature can be expressed as 3D tensor. However, in geomorphometry, we used uh, uh, older or tra more traditional concepts of curvature that are uh, usable in our, uh, in our analysis, in our interpretation better. And these, uh, these concepts are linked the most frequently with curvature of uh, contour lines and streamlines. Our analysis uh, during the last year was, uh, was finished by, uh, by the publication of result of our analysis in Earth Size Review, that it is my suggestion for future, for, for, for future reading for, for everybody who, who interested in, in these problems. Why this problem of uh, uh, lights uh, of land surface curvature uh, definition, exact definition is important. It is a general uh, scientific, uh, scientific uh, precondition that uh, if we have a scientific, really scientific results, our experiment should be, should be replicable. And this replicability depend on, on exactness, uh, starting from definition through measurement, computation, up to, up to, uh, up to interpretation of results. And uh, uh, in the case of uh, land surface curvature, there is really chaos in, in these topics. Uh, on the left side, you can see uh, the picture results of computation of one land surface curvature, land curvature in four different GIS. Why this result that's uh, such in incompatible, incompatible on the first look? There are more reasons. We have the house in terminology. Uh, various land surface curvatures can be, or used to be, uh, used to be named by, by the same names. On the other side, the single curvature uh, can have various names. Uh, we have expressed definition equation of land surface curvature by, again, by various ways that, uh, that sometimes can lead to confusion and uh, computation errors. And uh, more or, uh, moreover, uh, we have also a specific GIS settings in various technologies for example, dependence of results on cell sites or multiplication of results by constant and so on. Uh, we have done uh, such uh, deep analysis of uh, land surface curvature mainly from theoretical point of view uh, during the last 50 years. And uh, to find any relationship between this that is in literature, uh, show as land surface, uh, land surface curvature, we uh, uh, unify all definition equation from various publication in Cartesian Cosian systems and look for relationship between various, uh, various concepts, various, various uh, measures of curvature. Uh, by such way, we identify 25 unique kinds of uh, definition of land surface curvature, bearing about uh, 50 names. Uh, we can found definition that uh, arise from, uh, from uh, uh, differential geometry concept that we term as geometric curvature. On the other side, the whole set of curvature was defined as directional derivatives. Sometimes uh, that is compatible. 
as you can see in middle middle size of this table, but uh, frequently not. There are any differential between between them. Uh, a big part or the most used land surface curvature are, as I told, the curvatures of contour and streamlines. However, these curvatures are also very closely defined. And from this uh, simple land surface curvature can be derived more complex or combination of, of this curvature can, can return any, any uh, combination as mean curvature and, and, and so on. Uh, this uh, this uh, curvature concerning to streamlines and contour lines can be confronted with concept of uh, curvatures of curve on any surface. It is general concept. And when we confront it, we, we, we can find that in geometry, geomorphometry, we use the normal curvatures and uh, projected curvatures in maps. That is, for example, curvature of streamline in, in, in the map. Uh, uh, from point of view of differential geometry, uh, the every curve on the surface can be defined by three curvature normal, geodesic curvature, and geodesic torsion. What is interesting, when you analyze uh, this, uh, this definition of equation, you can find only three types, basic types of curvature. The first can be in line with our tradition term as profile curvature, second one, plan curvature, and the third, twisting curvature. Uh, the most famous representative of this is curvature of streamlines in, in, in the map. However, we look also for this what from uh, these various types that are uh, inside of the types uh, from, from definition point of view, uh, uh, they have the same denominator, yes, a denominator in the equation. From these result the same isolines, and from these result the same basic uh, geometric form and some same basic interpretation. And, uh, but uh, uh, we have a various, a various kinds of this plan profile and twisting curvature. And the question is, what from these kinds is the best interpretable, the best for you? We define uh, them as normal curvatures and geodesic torsion because, because the best interpretability that I show, show you later. Uh, till now, I talk about curvatures that I defined uh, from point of view of uh, gravity field of the, of the Earth. That means curvature of uh, streamlines and contour lines change if we change gravity field and streamlines and contour lines will be changed. On the other side, we have geometric, uh, uh, we have the curvature that, that are invariant to gravity field and they are also using geomorphometry as mean curvature, maximum, minimum curvature and so on. So, uh, Analyzing in, in all this, we define uh, four kinds of dichotomies in definition of, of land surface curvature. Geometric and uh, curvatures and directional derivatives, gravity specific, gravity invariant, uh, curvatures defined with mathematical signal convention and with geographical signal convention that is inverted because for us geographer uh, that is strange uh, take the uh, say that uh, that uh, any hill is concave and also this basic and combined curvature that i tell using a majority of these dichotomies excluding mathematical signal convention we we uh, we uh, use the, the geographical convention we create such a system of used land surface curvature uh, this system the basic of this system is ba basic trio of curvature that means principal representative of profile plant and twin twisting curvature from which we can derive by simple uh, simple ab algebraic uh, operation and uh, use the slope gradient the slope dependent subforms the combinations and also any imitations that are uh, in, in, in any case uh, similar as, as, as these, uh, these previous. This system is not principally new, uh, very similar system uh, introduced already 25 years ago, Shari. Yes, uh, that however, uh, don't consider uh, 
directional deriv derivatives as, uh, as parameters and uh, also uh, you use some specific third, der uh, third order derivatives and so on. He also used as three basic curvature another trio, difference, means, and unispherity curvatures. However, uh, these are uh, not frequently, not such frequently used in geomorphometry as this our trio. And we, we, we think that from point of our tra tradition, the better is this definition of system on this basic of, of this our trio. Why uh, we, uh, this normal curvature are the better than, for example, second slope line derivatives in case of profile curvature. It is shown on this, on this picture. Uh, for uh, 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 relief or, or land, land surface, uh, uh, very gently sloped, uh, the both are nearly the same. However, when we have sloped relief, the second slope line derivation are very different from the normal curvature. And in uh, case of scarp, 90 degree scarp, uh, their value achieve infinity. That is uh, really an interpretational problem. Similar situation is in the case of various plan curvature. Again, infinity value in case of zero degree or 90 degree is characteristic for, for most used, uh, uh, most used Subform of this plan uh, of this uh, plan curvature, and the third example uh, is example of using of uh, mean curvature. Geometric mean curvature is again uh, not such slope dependent as uh, very frequently used Laplacian. That is in reality mean second derivative, and uh, this achieve again uh, infinity for for 90 degrees scarf. Uh, okay, we have uh, using uh, the whole set of uh, curvatures, we can define various types of landform. It is one, one kind of interpretation that is very in, in, interesting for, for us uh, personally. Uh, because uh, when sum from this important curvature is uh, zero or near zero, uh, the uh, elementary forms that are any attractor of, of land surface development are defined by this, uh, by this way. However, uh, there are uh, a much more uh, interpretation, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, uh, much more interpretations uh, that are linked with uh, this curvature that we suggest for, for utilization. It is relationship with slope and, uh, and aspect, relationship with uh, gravity energy and gravity forces, with basic geomorphic processes. This uh, uh, equilibrium and disequilibrium of landforms uh, and also with interpretation of looking for any morphologic, morphological feature on the, on the land surface. The last uh, result that I want to show you is uh, how uh, we compute now the land surface curvature in our GIS technologies. You can see that from the selected uh, best interpretable last surface cur curvature, in majority uh, land, uh, analyzed uh, GIS technology uh, are directly computed only min minority, yeah? Uh, moreover, there are really terminological house that you can see on this table. And moreover, some, uh, some uh, curvatures are computed uh, problematically, mainly in a saga, saga GIS. GIS. Uh, so, uh, some conclusions. Land surface curvature, in principle, is spatial characteristic that is fully definable by a 3D tensor. From our, from point of view of our geomorphometric tradition, something like this 3D tensor can be three or normal curvatures plus contour geodesic uh, torsion, from which we can deduce uh, all order used curvatures. 
that mean all information is included in these three. And uh, for the future, our suggestion is to uh, include this basic trio to GIS technology, include the tools that enable us to compute a combination of, of these one uh, that uh, will lead to more exact uh, application of one surface uh, curvature in geomorphometry and geosciences. Thank you. Okay, I think we have time for a question or two. Can I ask a simple question? Um, how about applications? Which is the most used of these various definition, if any? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh... The lens of curvatures are mostly used uh, in uh, evaluation of various natural hazards generally. However, uh, there are uh, focused uh, this application on the use only two, mainly two basic curvature, plant and profile. And uh, um, very frequently, they don't differ between these uh, directional derivatives and and geometric uh, curvatures. So uh, usable or uh, usable of, of the whole set of the curvature is very rare. We found only some, some, uh, some papers, for example, Mitoso that used the 20, uh, 12 curvature analyzing, uh, analyzing process of, of uh, uh, creation of colluvial deposit and so on. So, uh, from combination curvature, mostly used is uh, mean curvature and, and elevation Laplacian, mainly in modeling of land surface development. And, uh... Okay, thank you. Very thank you.